Juan and I are headed back out for the evening and uh, we're gonna go to Guadalajara Centro to take some pictures and then probably head back to Tlacopaque Centro to try uh, something called Cazuela de Tequila so it should be pretty crazy Let's see what happens Gracias senor <laughs> Ciao Alright, let's get going We made it to Guadalajara Centro but there's a ton of people down here Juan still hasn't taken a picture of the Guadalajara sign so we're gonna wait a little bit maybe cool off but there's a ton of people as you can see behind me so kind of just chilling in the shade now Juan's got his own little shadow over there <laughs> oh look at this big thing you want to wait you probably should wait over there yeah Sometimes we just wander into different places. There's a rooftop. I mean, it kind of looks like. Can you go to the top? So inside here is a church. A lot of people taking pictures for some reason. Those glass panes look pretty detailed. Yeah. Right. Maybe that's what they're taking a picture of. And then we have like a market square going on. Juan has to get himself some bread. Ooh, look at this. This is the conch. That's the conch. That's your favorite. <laughs> oh my god. That one looks really good. Out front. Wow. Oh, I have some cash if you want. Mm -hmm. Here you go, ladies. Eat your hearts out. <laughs> Are you ready? All right, I got you. Look at all these delicious cakes and jellos. <laughs> more natural. It's more fresh. The only thing I'm worried about is the ice. Because if it's made from like tap water ice, you know, you might get a stomach ache. So we made it back to the statue of Minerva. Glorietta? Glorietta de Minerva? That's what it's called? I don't know. Can you guys see the cool rainbow? I see it. It's on the left. Yeah. Yep. We might go get some lemonade or stop by an OXO. But I think the lemonade sounds more refreshing, don't you think? Yeah, I think so too. We went to Takumando and uh, they're not here today, so we have to make our way to an OXO to get something to drink because we're freaking thirsty. <laughs> and everyone's having a quinceanera today. Now we're gonna head towards um, Talakapake downtown again just to see how it is at nighttime and uh, we have to ride our bikes it takes about 40 minutes to get there from Matuta Rimes which is where we were before and we came upon this uh, really cool monument I'm not sure the name of it yet I think it's called Niños Heroes but uh, it looks pretty beautiful just wanted to share that with you guys Juan and I are still at it heading towards Salacapaque I think we're 25 minutes or 30 minutes in but uh, still pedaling <laughs> It's a good adventure, good, good uh, leg workout. Oh boy, oh boy. What to do? What to do? What to do? There's a spot that you like. Can you guys hear the violin on the roof? Listen. It's 
song called Time or something by, I forgot who it is. I have to look it up. It's played with the violin too. Something Time. If you know it, shout it out. This is in No Parian, and they have like shows in here. And sometimes it's live music, but it looks like the drinks are a little bit expensive. What do you want to do? You want to listen to live music? We just crash on our bench here. <laughs> just <crash. laughs> Or we just go in for a beer and then go out and eat. eat. Yeah. Yeah. You want to say hello? Yeah, I want to say hello. I want to come to Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Nevada. Oh, yeah. We're from Virginia. Virginia? Yeah. Oh. Are you from here? Yeah, but I was I was there when I was little. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he was so, this is for my YouTube channel. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> You're famous now. Have a good night. Right, like here. So, like, have a beer in there and then come out here. Just met a really nice gentleman from Las Vegas. Um, he kind of disappeared in the video and I just want to say hi to him and I uh, hope he has a good time here in Mexico. Uh, I know he was only here for one week, but uh, enjoy uh, Guadalajara and I hope you enjoyed Ajijic and uh, hope you enjoy this video. The guitars are over there though. The guitars are right over there. Oh, man. That's, that's, <laughs> what that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying.
two quesos and two bistec and uh, it's basically meat and cheese uh, put inside a tortilla right something like that it's all kind of the same but it looks really good it's fresh so I'm really excited they cut the thing in half some way yeah I think I had the same thing in Colombia so that's really good it's just easy cheap meal what gorditas look like. I put some spicy salsa on mine. Juan put some um, like avocado salsa. It's, it's more mild, but I think it's a little bit spicy still, right? Yeah. Right. So this is where we just were, El Parian. And this is where I have live music and everything. Uh, beers are a little bit pricey, like 45 pesos. So we didn't really feel like sitting in there. We just wanted to come in and then just listen to the music. So we're going. Yeah, it's still going. I caught a little clip of it earlier, so you guys can see what's going on. So it's Sunday night, but it's still pretty lit here in uh, the La Capaque downtown. And uh, we just finished our gorditas, and we're gonna head back to the apartment now. Um, got class tomorrow, unfortunately. And this is uh, the place we tried to get in earlier, but I think it's kind of, um, a more upscale. We were just looking for something simple to eat, so that's why we didn't go up there. Maybe another time. Maybe next Friday we'll come down. And they have something called uh, Cazuela de Tequilas. So they'll put in a bunch of juices, uh, different tequilas, and all kinds of different things mixed into it. And I don't know how much it is or how much alcohol there is in it, but it'll be interesting to try next week before I take off for Guanajuato. Here's a really cool statue. I don't know if you can see it too well, but it looks like a Mexican lady has a skull for a body and head. Alright, guys have a good night.